With the square footage of glass that's on our skyscrapers and on our buildings, there's so much square footage that can be used to generate power. Currently, 90% of solar power comes from crystalline silicon-based solar panels, the dominant material technology. But what if we could harvest solar energy from the windows of our own homes or even from our car windows and cell phone screens? With efficiencies of up to 30%, these are exactly the breakthrough improvements for transparent solar cells that scientists at EPFL in Switzerland have promised. So, why are transparent solar panels the future of solar energy? And how efficient are these panels? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Over the years, solar panels and solar energy have shaken up how we think about generating consumer electricity. But solar panels are still expensive and take up a lot of room. On one hand, in modern society, we see glass everywhere, ranging in size from a small cell phone screen to huge windows and skyscraper facades. It's estimated that there are 5 to 7 billion square meters of glass surfaces in the United States, with 2.5 billion additional square meters of glass installed every year around the world. Just imagine that number for the whole world. And in most buildings, these large areas of glass remain an unused energy potential. Now, could you imagine the utility of a solar panel that's transparent? Windows may be turned into transparent window panels to keep electricity flowing through towns and cities. Materials that are selectively harvesting the parts of the solar spectrum that you can't see with your eye. Scientists at EPFL in Switzerland have achieved a new efficiency record for dye-sensitized solar cells, or DSCs opening avenues for transparent solar panels. However, the idea of DSCs is nothing new. The history of mesoscopic dye-sensitized solar cells dates back to the 1990s, when they were demonstrated by Brian O'Regan and Michael Gratzel in Switzerland. Since then, they have been commonly known as Gratzel cells. Transparent solar panels use specially designed photosensitizer dye molecules that, when combined, are capable of harvesting light from across the entire visible light spectrum. So, how efficient are transparent solar panels compared to conventional solar panels? Current dye-sensitized solar cells are sold commercially on a large scale, but are less efficient than conventional solar panels at converting sunlight into energy. The scientists achieved groundbreaking results by improving the packing of two newly designed photosensitizer dye molecules to enhance the DSC's photovoltaic performance. The team explains that the new photosensitizers can harvest light across the entire visible light domain. They demonstrated dye-sensitized solar cells with an efficiency of 15.2% under the standard one-sun illumination, which is the first time this technology has passed the 15% mark. The cells also demonstrated operational stability in more than 500 hours of testing. By increasing the active area to 2.8 centimeters squared, the power conversion efficiency reached a maximum of 30.2% which is one and a half times more than Tesla's solar panels. The module efficiency of Tesla solar panels is 19.3 to 20.6%. Thus, these transparent solar panels can set an efficiency record and surpass all current solar panels. But with an efficiency of 30.2%, how does that translate to the amount of energy it could produce? Tesla's large array uses 36 panels to cover a roof area of 780 square feet. These panels combine to produce an output power rating of 14.4 kilowatts. With a bit of math and a difference of 9.6%, it's estimated that a 780 square feet transparent solar panel will generate about 15.8 kilowatts. The researchers claim that by using inorganic materials, these PV windows can produce power for more than 20 years with a 0.5% efficiency loss per year. A building could be 1,000 feet tall by 50 feet wide by 50 feet deep. This building would have a roof area of 50 by 50, which equals 2,500 square feet of space for rooftop solar panels. 
This will in turn help it generate 46.15 kilowatts of electricity. Meanwhile, this same building would boast 1,000 feet by 50 feet of space on each side, which equals 200 square feet of surface area. That 200,000 square feet may be mostly made up of windows, which could be converted into power-producing transparent solar panels. Much more power is produced in the same amount of space, about 4,051 kilowatts, which is 88 times more than traditional solar panels, in other words. However, price is still a main concern and something we should consider carefully. So, is it cheaper than a Tesla solar panel? They are flexible, relatively low cost, and can be made using conventional roll printing techniques. Theoretically, the price per performance ratio is also good enough to allow them to compete with fossil fuel electricity generation. The estimated price is 60% cheaper than Tesla solar panels, which is about $28 per square meter, while Tesla solar panels cost between $40 to $110 per square meter. Moreover, the Tesla solar roof system costs at least $175, and it can go up to as high as $300 per square meter. Thus, transparent solar panels, which may generate energy by covering the full window of the house, are more economical than other solar panels on the market. We see that transparent solar panels sound very possible in the future. So where exactly can they be applied? These new findings pave the way for different applications. The dye-sensitized solar cells are transparent and can easily be manufactured in a variety of colors. The first commercial applications are already being realized, with dye-sensitized solar windows installed in the Swiss Tech Convention Center. A great application of partially transparent solar panels is in office buildings where the sunlight is intense, so the panels are installed in order to reduce the amount of sunlight that goes into the building while designing windows and skylights. Because they are lightweight and flexible, they are also suitable for use in portable electronic devices. They can impact our lives by charging mobile devices with a glass component, a car that could potentially charge itself while driving or parked outside, and perhaps powering greenhouses that could use affordable electric heat. Our findings pave the way for facile access to high-performance DSCs and offer promising prospects for applications as power supply and battery replacement for low-power electronic devices that use ambient light as their energy source, said the EPFL researchers. How do you feel about transparent solar cells? Do you think we'll see transparent solar on most of our buildings, cars, laptops, and even smartphones in the future? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe. As if...